Hey you guys, welcome back to Clever Music. I'm Misty Kingma and joining across from me right here is the genius behind the Rocket Summer, Bryce Avery. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. This is a really special day for us here at Clever Music. Really? Because we are such big fans of yours. Thank you so much, it's a special day for me. Yeah, because your new album also comes out today, which is also why we're so excited to have you here. Yes. Yes. Um, Life Will Write the Words is out today, you guys. And I just want to say, I don't want your head to get too big or anything, but I just want to say, um, when we scheduled you to come into the office, I had a lot of people here that were really, really excited for you to come in. And so that says a lot. That's awesome. And I listened to this album, and I think it's so great. Thank and you. now the title, Life Will Write the Words, I guess in a way could sort of be self-explanatory as a title. But I want to hear your words, what the title means, and what's the message behind the album. Like, what life wrote the words? <laughs> what life wrote the words. <laughs> well, to me, um, you know, it's funny. I wrote that, that line. We were actually on Warp Tour, and it was kind of a crummy day, wow. and I just started singing that line. And uh, for me, that, that phrase, in a sense, just kind of captures a bit of the human experience. Um, I feel like there's a song in everything, and that uh, we all have a song, we all have a story. <clears throat> and that, you know, we don't really get to choose the actual story, but we get to tell how it's told and how it's sung and um, you know for me uh, this place that I'm in I just felt like it made so much sense and it connected with me that line and uh, you know to me that phrase just suggests that the possibilities are endless so endless. So for every song is there a different like life story behind it or different experience? I mean yeah I think I mean all the songs are different and I, I write from my heart and uh, I like to write stories and uh, it's just kind of all over the place, you know. Uh, I don't. It's not in a good way. Yeah, I'd say in a good in, way. Say in a good way. How long did it take you to put the whole album together from start to finish? Well, generally, uh, since I since I like, played all the instruments and everything on it, I right. kind of locked myself away probably about two months, and I recorded extra songs that didn't go on the record that are going to come out later. So yeah. Okay, so two months. That's like actually pretty fast in my mind. That's really impressive. And you not only wrote every song, produced every song, you played every instrument on it. That's incredible. Thank that you. is the sign of a true creative artist, so I Thank definitely you. commend you for that. Thank you. I mean, do you have a favorite song on the album, or are they all just like really special to you? Do you have one that stands out? They're all, they're all my, all your babies. they're all my babies. <laughs> yes. And uh, you know, um, I put a lot into them, so it's really hard to just choose, and any artist would tell you that. Um, maybe for me, I like this, a song called Soldiers, and maybe because it's just so stripped down and, uh, and it's got just uh, such good meaning behind it, it hits me when I hear it. It's like yeah. one of the songs that I could listen to and just feel like, okay, I, I can listen to this. I can't listen to my own songs ever, but what? I, I could probably listen to that one. Why not? So. Probably because of all the hours I spent, like doing You're, like, every part, every little yeah. Part. It's like, like oh, okay, I've heard one it. One part and that part and that part. Right. Yeah. 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 And um, I got wind of something. You used some crazy instruments on the album, didn't you? Yeah. I mean, I used uh, well, kind of all the standard, just rock band instruments: guitar, bass, drums, piano, and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, with this one, I just wanted to try to push it a little further. And <laughs> use the theremin, and we recorded a typewriter and mandolins and stuff like that and trash cans. Trash cans. And so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like the typewriter one. I like that. Yeah, it was fun. It was like cool just that. miking a typewriter and having to do it in time and making it stereo and stuff. It was cool. Yeah. So. You just like took stuff in your place and like, oh, see that trash can there? Let me just bring it over and play a little something. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's fun to just find things and jam on them. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So are you, do you have any plans to make any music videos soon? Yeah, well, we've already made two, and actually, um, I'm going about this entirely differently than, than normal. Uh, I want to make a video for almost every song on the record, and uh, I like that. So yeah, we're, we're working on that now. We already have two, one for Revival and one for Run and Don't Stop, which uh, Run and Don't Stop is a live, live video that we shot on this last tour we were on with Switchfoot, and yeah. uh, some headlining shows we did, and uh, Revival is just all this old footage this guy put together and it looks really cool. I love that and, one. Uh, oh, cool. Too. Thanks. Um, and yeah, so we have we have plans to make a bunch of videos. A so, lot. It sounds yeah. like you're going to be very busy. Today is the beginning of 
you know. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know what, what, it's the beginning of a long time. <laughs> beginning of lots of work. <laughs> yeah. Lots of long hours. Correct me if I'm wrong, you went back to self producing your own stuff now and self releasing, right? After your last yeah. album? Yeah, self releasing. So why yeah. do that? You know, um, I just felt like it was time to kind of tear down the corporate barrier between my music and my fans. Uh, I had the opportunity to, to, uh, to leave the major label world. Um, when L.A. Reid went to the X Factor, and he's a great <laughs> dude, L you know, I'm thankful for my time there and equally thankful to not be there, you know, it's just, yeah. some things just run their course and, um... You get what you can out of everything. And right, just yeah, I just felt like it was time to try something new, mm -hmm. and so it was cool to get to make this record this way and just see what, see how this is going to be, and yeah. we'll see. So. I think you'll be fine. You have a, you have great fans, you really do, you have a great following. Definitely. Is there any, like, any crazy fan moment or something that sticks out to you in your mind? There's the ones that, that mean um, a whole lot, and then there's some that are kind of like, oh my gosh, um, you know. Uh, Has anyone ever brought you, like, a really crazy gift? Yeah, I mean, people will bring, like, press like prosthetic limbs and stuff that's happened before yeah um i think the weirdest thing that's ever happened is on the switchfoot tour and i i was like debating if i should ever even tell this story <laughs> and now i'm sitting here going like the wisdom screamers are going <laughs> you could tell shouldn't. like maybe a sliver uh, of it um now on the on the last tour we did there was a girl that came to the show that had that had, in, had, that had induced her baby early so she could come to the show and try to wow. meet me. Wow. Wow. I was like, don't tell your son that. Yeah. That's <laughs> crazy. I don't, I mean, that's, it's mind blowing to me. Yeah. But, um, wow. But that's a compliment. Absolutely. It's a weird one. But, but yeah, it's awesome because awesome. I wanted to meet you so badly. Yeah. I mean, it, it definitely still like mm -hmm. meant a lot. I was just like, wow. That's, that's awesome. intense. That's great. That's so great. And speaking of tours, I know you mentioned Switchfoot a couple times already. You were just on tour with them, and you've toured with so many people. You're probably <laughs> friends with every like major band right now. Who was your favorite to tour with? Like, who who are you closest with? Yeah, it's such a it's such a blessing to get to do this. We we have had the opportunity to tour with a lot of bands, um, both opening for them and headlining, and um, you know, maybe just because it's so fresh. Switchfoot was awesome. Uh, those Hella Goodbye guys are really nice. Um, <laughs> Paramore are really cool. Um, Incredible. One Republic is really cool. Yeah, you are you know Ryan Tedder. I do. Well, don't you? Yes, Yeah. I do. Okay, last question. You've been touring with a lot of people and now you're headlining your own tour right mm -hmm. now this summer for the new album. Yes. So what's the one thing that you would want to tell people that they can expect at the show if they come see you? Um. It's a, it's a very energetic show. It's fireworks. We even have a backdrop. Fireworks? We even have a backdrop with fireworks on it. So. Awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a good time. You know, it's a it's a celebration. So. Um, I love that. Yeah, it's a good I vibe. I love that celebration. Lots of singing along and lots of just it's a very jovial atmosphere. So. Jovial and celebratory. Yes. Okay. Well, I love that. You guys go get his new album, iTunes or Best Buy. You can get it. Yes. I will vouch for it. It's it's gonna make a mark. You should definitely check it out. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming in. Thank you guys so much for watching. And performing. You guys also check out his performance yeah. um, on our YouTube channel. Bye. See ya.